streaming. <laughs> Just shout screaming. It's screaming. Screaming! But also streaming. What's up, guys? We are back for the third or 50-something session of Lordly Caliber, depending on how long you've been hanging out with us. Adam had to drop last minute because there are thunderstorms. Adam, I hope you heard what I had to say. It was important. I will probably message you later. Uh, we do have Donald, as always. Joe will hopefully be with us. And as always, we have Kane. We have, I almost, almost fucked it up, Emmy from the Inn of Planner Crossroads. Go check them out. Get them to 400 subs. They're, like, right there. And then right there, that dude's going to run a one-shot. And I think, I think the channel's popular enough now that Donald and I don't have to show up and, like, fill the ranks of the one-shots. <laughs> so that's super <laughs> sweet. I'm really excited. And Emmy, I'm going to say it now. If I dead name you on stream at any point for any reason, you get a hero point because I don't want to be shitty to my first ever trans friend. But we're just going to kick right in, I think. We'll do the hero point reflection after. Uh, you guys see not long after the Ling Spider's web bolus collides with the back of Grey Mantle's head, he kind of just <laughs> whoopsie portals. I felt weird. My snake bites vibrated against my teeth. I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. I have to be an adult and take my pieces out now. No, I don't. Anywho, Gray Mantle, whoopsie portals out. Do we have a stage? I think Bradley's up. Oh, Joel. Oh, Joe. Joe. Joe's here. Good. He literally showed up right when we started. It mm -hmm. is good. Now I've lost Colin. Where did Colin go? I, I have to recut. Tommy, I, know. I know you're there. I just, I lost you in OBS. Also, here a point. I Tommy. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I actually noted the number of sessions, and this you is... shouldn't have said that. This is session 47. 40, good, good, well done. Proud of you. All right, where, who is this? What is happening? Uh, hangouts. That's what's happening. Then I, need, then I need some Emmy, who is not calling. You don't get a hero point. No, no. No cheating. For some reason, the initiative in this board... Because I didn't make a second... Uh, uh, did or a second you roll did you write down the initiative on, on your side? I did not. I had it in here. So I guess we're going to take us a fresh initiative as Grey Mantle disappears and Helmut reappears in his place. <laughs> what? Surrounded by a Ling Think spider. Think about it. I never see them in the same place. <laughs> Actually, I mean, no, but people. I don't think that's the reason why. <laughs> you never know. All hey. right. So perception checks from all of y'all. Uh, 24. 24. Oh, yeah, we're rolling real dice. That's right. I let you guys cheat. Yeah, that's what's happening. I don't know. No, you guys all just went to... Well, what part of Canada are you from again? Don't remind me. Uh, I am from... Ontario? Ontario. The same Ontario. part of Canada that Greg is? Yeah. It's in the water. 27. Call it all I heard Ontario, and I was like, I don't know. Well, Ontario. Uh, <laughs> is that also a place? Altair. Zandru has a 27. To remember the province, uh, to remember the 34. province I live in, uh, live in, it is next to Quebec. It's next to the worst part of our country. I thought the worst part yeah, of the country true. was Alberta. <sighs> yeah, I mean, maybe if you live in Quebec, you would think that. Fair enough. <laughs> and, and All right, yes. so xandy has got a 27. I'm, I'm the part of the country that makes money. Fair enough. Kane's character's name is Bradley. That's what it is. I could think of it. Bradley, yeah, Bradley, Bradley Border Rippers. He who rips the boulders. How much shows up ready to go? I would like Helmet to rolled really well. You did, yes, you did. The Lang Spider is gonna reroll too. What do I add? Plus twenty one. That's not bad. I like that plus twenty one. Lang Spider slash 21. R one D twenty plus twenty one equals a forty. Hey, look at me! I get to go first again. Also, we exactly. totally screwed up the poison thing for the counter. Did we really? Yeah. What did we do it's wrong? It's supposed to be, uh, we were treating it as the monster's level. The monster's level is not equal to the counteract level of the poison. Uh, the poison so level that? and the counteract level are different. The counteract level for a level 13 poison, I think, is like 7. I half see. Half rounded up. Okay, fair enough. Well, it's a playtest. That's what we're doing. And by the by, if you're on Twitch and you didn't know, we are playtesting Pathfinder 2nd Edition. So... In the comments, if we do something terrible, yell at us, hurt our feelings, help us to be better. And also, like you guys, again, this is a playtest. So if there's something you like, something you don't like, say it, put it in the stream. Anywho, Grey Mantle disappears and Helmet reappears in a 
in the middle of an armory somewhere and suddenly he has an expert quality weapon of his choice and Artorius no longer has it. I've remembered that now. I was going to say it. it says, I was going to say that if you didn't say it, I have it in my notes. Good, good. I'm glad someone takes notes. Oh my god. Yeah, one thing I learned about playing in in a three year campaign, three year long campaign, having very good notes is a must. Yeah, that's fair. So you're saying Helmut has a expert quality weapon all yes. of a sudden? Yes. Everybody got yes. one. It is, everybody has one. It is a weapon of your choice. What it is? Oh, I already have one. That was and then one you can have two. Thing. I don't I know what you having need. Having an extra yeah, sell it. doesn't hurt. Sell it off. I don't I don't need one. <laughs> the monk gets how to do what is this? <laughs> just, I, help us just stand there with two war hammers. And as he's standing there staring at this war hammer, a gigantic bloated purple spider is gonna try to, to bite at him a bunch. I think. Yeah. I know it's weird. I don't know if I'm immune to fear effects anymore. Like I might have been in first edition, so I might That's get scared to say. death. I'm looking. Did the monster say it is? I won't say if it is or not, because he'll have to use that ability on his own. The, the feats, the general feats in this game are so weird. <laughs> Would you like a plus five to your speed? How about the ability to do Phantasmal Killer with an Intimidate check? I'll take the second one. Can we do that? Uh, All right, anyhow. Cast it at 15th level. Oh, oh, fair. Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm going to try to bite you. How's a 42 looking to hit you? A 42 just hit me, yes. Does that hit you by more than 10? Um, I have no idea what ACs look like in this party. Not that high. <laughs> well, maybe his, but not mine. The fighter might be there, I don't know. Uh, Barely. Nine. Just nine? All right, fair enough. So no critical. This gigantic, gross purple spider's fangs sink into you for... Make a fourth save, if you would, please. Sure. 2d12 plus, what do I add again? That much. Boom. 24 points of damage. Alrighty. You roll on this many d12s at once is weird. Shit. Helmet rolls a uh, 27. That should pass, I believe. Right? Does it pass? Does it pass this? That does not pass. Never mind. It's close, but it doesn't pass. So as the, the fangs sink into you, you feel the wound where, like, as the fangs out of your neck grows really hot and everything gets really dizzy and woozy and the first stage of the venom is drained one for a round drained is uh oh help me out colin damn it <laughs> oh, <laughs> you man, have I three wish... hero points this is how this how i learn not to conditions thing yeah it's very nice this is how i learn not to dead name my friends though is just penalize me all day i've got it in uh I've got my rulebook open. It's just such a pain ah, to find it. I've opened. Uh, you the guys, mic is you gotta start. You gotta start using either. those, Colin. You can't have more than three. You just start taking extra actions per turn. Yeah. <laughs> Use my uh, dumbassery to your advantage. Right. Um, Drained is. You lose the number of hit points equal to your level. Um, then you take a conditional penalty equal to the value on fort saves and con base checks. I think that's it. Yeah. So how much hit point damage did I take just from the attack? 24. 24, okay. Then my second attack is going to target... Pad of oh. paper here. Who am I going to target? Do I want to keep biting? Xandu's still pretty messed up, right? Xandu's still kind of woozy. Yeah, he's he's still drained. He failed his last uh, fort save, and I think he's... He's whatever the stage two of the venom is. Yeah, so he's confused. So he's drained and so something else. He's hugging his not his great axe. It's it's weirder for a Desmond. He's hugging his dwarven war axe. If, if I remember, uh, Zandu, he is confused. Yeah, yep. that, that's correct. So this is against target. Uh, let's target Artorius. That'll be fun. Thirty-three to hit Artorius. That's a hit. Ten over. Uh, it is it is thirty-one. So not a quick. So just barely. Okay, so twenty-seven damage. Make a fourth save. Okay. I like Lang Spiders. Lang Spiders are fun. Uh, 32. That passes. So it's, it's more of the same. You know what's going on. The spider bites into Helmut. His Helmut kind of just like appears into it. And then it comes out and swings over at you. Goes into you. It doesn't feel the best, but you're able to kind of like shake it off. Shake well, it uh, off. Artorius, uh, Artorius, he is used to this. Uh, he is used to finding uh, uh, outsiders and evil creatures day in and day out out of Hell Knight. That's fair. Mm, I want to try 
I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna, I think this provokes reactions. I think. I'm gonna try to disarm Artorius, which means I'm making an athletics check with my, with my penalty on it, I think, right? Yeah. The, yeah, it would be a DC 25 you have to beat. Okay. How do you track that DC? I, I literally uh, am doing this to learn how to do it. It is 10 plus your class level plus the appropriate ability modifier. Plus strength or dex? Yeah, dex. Okay, so it's strength. Well, I have fumbled. Okay, so um, what can happen here? It's, what, what happens is it bites into you and then it's forearms that have that bolus made out of webs go like swinging forward, almost like the spin of pizza. And then like swing it into your... What do you, you fight with a scythe? Yes. That, that's, can you sneak attack with a scythe? You can't sneak with a scythe, can you? Uh, it, it is just damage only. You can sneak attack with anything. Because I'm pretty sure... Because there has to be a, a yes. specific caveat yes. at level one so you can sneak attack with great clubs. I want to say... Yeah, we, yeah. If I remember... fail for uh, disarm is you lose your balance and become flat-footed until the start of your next turn. No, thank you. And now the spider is flat footed. Also, sneak attack says uh, if you strike a flat footed creature with an agile or finesse melee weapon, an agile okay, or finesse so I don't get to use Yeah, because that's why I was wondering why you had a scythe. Because I knew they'd change that because bludgeoner has to be a feat if you want to do it with like clubs oh, would and stuff. You? Oh, I, I saw it. Uh, could do it with a non uh, fin Not finesse anymore. weapon. It's just it's like. It's a new meta! It's just like in Starfinder. Like, we, like, 06 had to use a dagger or a oh, pistol. Well then, and I if 06 was a Vesk, and I thought about playing a Vesk, but I couldn't do it with my claws. That's so weird. Anyway, I digress. Helmut, oh, look, look what's like... up? That was three actions. Yeah. Go if you're speaking, you're muted. Super muted. I'm frozen. Yeah, he's I muted. muted. Um, I didn't ever react to it. Um... It is your turn. It's my now. turn to hit him. I'll glad to yeah. hit him. How far away from him am I? You guys are all five feet in like a like the four of you form a box around him. It. I like it better uh, for a spider that. monster. Um. Yeah, I'll try and hit him. Okay, sure. When do I? Go, go. That could be better. Um, that's a thirty-three to hit. Rolling it on. Seems good. Uh, thirty-three does hit him right on. Actually, it's more than right on because he's flat-footed and flanked right now. So, you hit him. Alrighty. Get up the damage. Da, da, da. I don't know, three of the not on me at least. There's two. Really? Can I get a third? Can I get a third D eight? Well probably a D six for you, because you're using like D12. light hammers, aren't you? No, I'm using a warhammer at two handed. Ah, nice. Hooray. Three D twelves. So many D twelves. Change meta. The beefiest of boys. Yeah, pretty much. It's nice. I like it. Finally, we have a system where we can just get every D12 we own and throw them at the table. That's <laughs> finally used for, for two decahedrons. Yeah. Yeah, if I find me... 36 damage. Oh, gross. As uh, Helmut's uh, wound hoe slams <laughs> into spider's beast flesh. Nice. Yeah, you hit him. It, there's a sickening crunch as like the carapace where it looks like the little dwarf guys punched him like five or six times. It kind of like gives in a little. It's not looking good. You guys can see as the combat goes on, parts of its flesh kind of like where it had been stabbed by somebody's dagger, by a gray mantle's dagger, like webs appear and begin to like knit the flesh back together. But it's that definitely hurt. He definitely felt it. And then I have something I need to look it up exactly what it does. What's it called? But I would like to be scary. I would like to be scary. Uh, Classic Joe character. What what's, what's the name of the dialect you're using where you just, it's riddled with compound words? He's speaking in Kenning. Kenning. Oh. So I said wound ho and beast flesh. Beast flesh. Beast flesh. 
Um, where the heck is it? It's not quick intimidation. Intimidating what was strike. It? Oh, it's a fighter feat. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's intimidating strike. I'm just trying to find it in my. It's a uh, for it's two a actions, and if you hit, it's frightened one and becomes flat footed until the end of your turn. I have to become very familiar okay. with the fighter feats. Yeah. Did Zandu Zandu archetyped into fighter, right? Yes. I feel like Zandu's going to look a lot like the sorcerer video that. If you're watching on Twitch, that comes out in a couple days, or if you're watching on YouTube, mm. came out yesterday. It's like all of these fighter feats that are like you are wielding a one-handed weapon, but have one hand free. That's really good for a gish. You actually want those. So hey. I think I was supposed to say it before the attack. But did, I did, did you want the first attack to be an intimidating strike? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And I just do one attack, even though I have Furious Focus. Classic. Because show. Furious Focus does something different now. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, but yeah. And he's flat footed again, which is weird. Mm -hmm. I have other things. Need to make sure. Is he going to run away if he uh, becomes frightened? Uh, that's uh, fleeing. I don't know. Fleeing is its own condition. Yeah, yeah. Right. Next time I hit him, I'm going to try and shatter defenses. But Blast for right him. now. You just don't want him to run away because it's gonna it's gonna punch him a bunch. <laughs> bunches of punches. Bunches like of punches. Anyway, is that all? Um, um Helmut. Yeah, that's all for now. Tight. Zandy, what's up? Alright. Um I gotta not be sick anymore. You do make that fort save. Attempt that fort okay, save. Okay. You have yeah, a hero right? point. You can re-roll for two. I have two hero points, yeah? You have three. I've screwed it up twice now and you've I've got already... one for Showing up. Oh, I got three. Oh, yeah, grand oh, nice. total three. Um, I' pretty sure the first one's not gonna make it with yeah. a uh twenty. Yeah, no, twenty doesn't beat it. Then I am going to re-roll with sure. two hero points, and if I fail, I get one back. You do? Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Yeah. Considering this that is, is the order. exact same thing. Oh, well, it still fails. Um, <laughs> can I use two more? <laughs> I haven't screwed up. You only have one here. Oh, well, yeah, that's a thing. I get one back for failing. I think, actually, there, you can't. Rules is written in the playtest because that is a fortune effect. Oh, yeah. Only and you can only use... have one fortune effect on a given. You can't have five yeah, witches. Yeah. I miss witches. Witches were so good. <laughs> Give me back witches. <laughs> yeah, witches are... Witches no. um, are Take your alchemists are... away. Give me witches. Actually, give me both. Make witch an archetype. That'd be sweet. Let my fighter misfortune people. <laughs> yeah, have witch be an archetype for sorcerers like Cavalier is. Yeah. Now I gotta do the confused thingy. You do. You that gotta roll that d4. See if you want to hug your axe daughter. Now I'm speaking in Kenning as well. Uh, yes, I do. That's <laughs> Joe looks at the camera just, what? <laughs> What'd you roll? That is a two. Okay, on a two. I love you, ass child. Yep. <laughs> do you know what you do on a two? Oh, I heard something different. Attack myself <laughs> once. <laughs> I think I know what you heard. <laughs> <laughs> My flesh embrace. Alrighty, yeah, you guys definitely see Zandu, like, I think it was last turn that it happened. Zandu pulls his dwarven war axe out of his chest, looks really confused, and then just looks at his axe and just... <sighs> and goes back to, like, in a different spot with, like, his shoulder, just plug his axe into him. Yep, that's uh Thanks, 3D12. Ugh, so many uh, D12s. Just that at it. You got some serious problems. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. For 22 damage. Rough. Where's that D6 come from? Was that like a, like a shock or something? It, yeah, oh shit, cool. I forgot about my D6 of shock. I'm, go ahead and roll it, it's fine. I'm not going to break my heart. I might be immune to electricity. I feel like I was immune Takes to electricity. One. It is very appropriate yeah. that Zandu named this axe the Mind Ripper. Yeah, because you are ripping your mind. Artorius, Zandu's hugging himself with his axe. It's bad. I am going to attack three, three, three times. Does a 36, uh, uh, 27, and a 17 hit. 17 definitely doesn't. Hang on. I, there's a lot of values going on. You got to give me those. Uh, uh, 36. One more time. 36. So I'm flat-footed. I'm... 
prone and I'm frightened. That's weird though. Lang spider can be frightened now. What is going on? That that's when you're scary. When you're scaring the the Lang beasts. That's when right. spooky. I mean, it comes from the. I land just have intimidating glare, so I'm just glaring at him. I'm just like <laughs> thousand yards staring at him. So frightened is the checks and saves. So I'm taking a minus four. The thirty six hits. What's the second attack? Uh, twenty seven. Twenty twenty seven might. Uh, the... It may. Twenty seven does miss. Just and, then, <laughs> and then the seventeen definitely misses. Yeah, seventeen is a fumble. So, okay. I uh, I like not playing rules. I, Go ahead and roll your damage on the, the spider of Ling. Okay. Okay, so... Do you want to switch it, your it, weapon to a light or agile weapon? Because you didn't know about sneak attack, Donald. Because it's not going to break my heart if you want to, like... Well, it, oh, it's I a would, short sword now! It is it's a extra 2d6 damage, so it doesn't add much overall. That's fair. But it multiplies. I mean, does, it, it, does sneak attack multiply on a critical hit? No, I don't believe so. I think, I think it was Kane said that. Someone told me that. I'll look it up, but anyways. Anyway, so the slashing damage, 27. Okay. No. And uh, it would be... And plus four uh, and six uh, frost damage. Okay, understood. It doesn't so seem total... to be bothered by the frost. Okay, so total 37 damage. That's pretty nice for a non-finance weapon. I definitely need to add that enchantment somehow or make into it. What, the Agile enchantment? Weapon. Yes. It doesn't exist, unfortunately. That that was one of my mm, big What about weapon, the... weapon trait added in somehow? It does not exist, Donald. Literally the only way oh, to get that is... right right now is to be a rogue. You can't like apply it to weapons and you can't... Uh, like I was hoping going into the rogue archetype would give it to people, but it's... And for good reason, I guess, it's really controlled who can and can't text to damage. Oh, that's the same, because the finance uh, enchantment was my favorite in 1E. Yeah, yeah, you damn skippy. Same here, now roll the hit cane. Why? Because he fumbled. <laughs> okay. Uh, One was going to be he hits himself, which is weird with a side. Okay, uh, 21. No. I assume a 21 misses. What's Kane's armor no, cost? Not even close. You almost fumble against me. But he doesn't fumble. Okay. That's all I gotta know. No. Alright, Bradley. Yeah, you're... I got a got a got a three, so. Double fumble! <laughs> Just the chain <laughs> of fumbles. <laughs> fumbles into the ground. <laughs> Takes a six foot hole in the earth. That's where you spend the rest of the encounter. Haha. He just spins too fast and goes down. Gotta go fast. Gotta move fast. Endless okay. fumbling as he spins around the room like a tornado. They say he's still spinning to this very day. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so was that a fumble on my end? No, no you, you fumbled no. once, but you didn't fumble no. against Bradley. Yeah, you were you were off okay. by one. <laughs> oh, for that okay, second good, fumble. good. It seems the dice doesn't hate me yet. <laughs> yet, keyword. Anyway, if that's all, it is Bradley Boulder Rip was turned. Wait, did we just get a Bradley jack? Boulder? Okay, so Bradley Boulder Rip is he's got this his prone spider. He's got his friend up in him, up in him Jamesies, and he's gay. He's got he's all falling down. He looks all afraid, and there's a little bit of spider pee underneath him because <laughs> helmet's giving him the 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 what I haven't even know what that look is. But I just hope he doesn't angle his neck this way because I these are new pants. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to spend the action for the flurry of blows, which doesn't count against my multiple attack penalty. And I'm going to spend another action to attack, and I'm going to spend a third action to attack. Seems good. I'm going to I'm gonna roll it digitally, and it's going to be real bad. Here we go. Boop. Oh, man. That 31. Hits. You hit. 35. 35. 23. 35. Everything but the, th but the 23 hits. Three of them connect. All right, so that's okay. three eight plus seven, three times. Blech. So ninety eight plus twenty seven. Yeah, yeah, I suppose I could do that too, <laughs> for expediency's sake. Uh, nine d eight plus would you say twenty seven? Seven yeah. times three is twenty one. Actually, twenty one. I'm so good at math. Okay, 55. yeah, that's that's a. Uh, I would like Bradley to flavor that kill. 
All right, so Bradley's base, he's got these big, you know, he's got the mo- the, the mountain root stance. So he's just laying these big fucking straight on hammer fists down and just poof, into the spider. And he's just sort of like, it looks like he's, 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 this, he's mining into the mountain. That's what's happening. He's trying, he's digging himself a new dwarf home inside this giant spider's guts. He's working his way in there. He's going to sleep. Here it looks like you're fighting like a, like a drunk, like a drunk lady. Or my, <laughs> I mean, that's how they dig the holes in the mountains, dude. Come on. Like... <laughs> they get drunk. drunk. So the Ling Spider does, in fact, go down the Ling Spider. It's ah! the Ling Spider is at dying one. It's the Ling Spider's turn. The Ling Sp- Well, actually, it's not the Ling Spider's turn. The Ling Spider now goes right before Bradley. So what happens, and I had to ask Bowman about this today, because I wanted to see if there was a coup de grace mechanic. What happens is the creature's at dying one. It's prone and unconscious, so its armor class is minus six. If you hit it, its dying value increases. If you crit it, its dying value increases by two. So this thing could get up and keep fighting unless you guys want to attack it. I mean, Zandu's probably still confused. That's, yeah. Mm, I, 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 Atari's would definitely want to kill this thing. It's an evil outsider to him, effectively. Well, for now, it's Helmut's turn. Because I forgot there's a confused individual on the board, so initiative is still relevant. Lying on the ground unconscious, and I've lost... There we go. That's what I want. I want this, and I want that. Um, so, Helmut's gonna try and hit it again yeah if it's still alive it's a dying one so it, it can come back to life really easy like you can be at one hp running around and have a dying value oh okay so helmut's mostly used to fighting just mortal humans stuff like that so yeah i'm just gonna keep wailing on this thing because i just kind of appeared and i'm like what the hell so Oh, baby, it's 19 plus. Uh, That would be a 43. That's a critical hit. So you don't need to worry about rolling damage. There is no negative hit points in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. He just goes from dying 1 to dying 3. Dying 4 is what kills him. Not to, like, take the glory He's also... of extra damage away. Just bop him again. He's also with one. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um. Well, I've used I've used Oop, two uh, actions technically, so I could. Oop! That snoot hard. Oop! That snoot hard. Yeah, and that finished the evil lightly, outsider off. Just lightly snoot him. Just enough. Just a light snooting, if you will. Yeah, we'll snoot him lightly. Four thirty-five. Thirty-five does yeah. hit and does kill him. We had to run it that way because the Ling Spider does have regeneration. So, like, it would come around to his turn, he'd be at dying three with 15 hit points. That's weird. That feels strange. That is how that works. Okay. So, from inside the Ling Spider's body, you hear, Hey, you're messing up my veranda. <laughs> Actually, it is, it's something not unlike that. What happens is this thing goes down, and Helmut just kind of like, one, two. And as it happens, We've all uh, killed spiders in our horrible days as people, right? How they like they flip over and their legs go up. It's kind of like that, but as the legs of the ling spider go up, they arch and they they touch at the tips, and they form a gate. Energy begins forming betwixt the legs, and like the line cuts down and then opens into basically it just kind of looks like blackness, eternal night with dots of stars all over the place. Uh-oh, uh, Bradley's not in that, is he? He is not. But before we go what any before we go any farther, we can't go any farther until Emmy makes a fourth save. Because that's three more rounds. Yep. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on initiative actually, because you guys might want to react by like stopping your friend from hugging his axe to death. No, I'm just gonna back up. Uh, <laughs> Woman. 
Well, if uh, Zandu, well, it's not not my turn, but I would definitely do something for if Zandu do something. Of course. What's that save? Yeah, it's, that is, um, uh, it's a fort save, right? Correct. Okie dokie. Uh, that would be a 27. 27 fails. Okay, I'll roll again with my two hero points. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, you do have to because one got one got brought back. Yeah, that's the thing. That is a um, thirty. A thirty is enough. A thirty is exactly enough for you to move. Okay, so from... all my hero points are gone. I don't get it back now. You don't, but and you go from confused to drained one. That was the third round. There's three more rounds of it. You have all. Three Except of... I have something where I, uh, when I succeed a fort save against poison, I go down two stages instead of just one. Yeah. Well, congratulations, you're cured then. You've done yeah, it. Yeah, right? You just, as the axe comes out of your chest, it's, it's like a tourniquet, but more painful. Just kind of like <laughs> pulls all the poison out. There's a hook on the axe, you see, which normally is for rending the flesh of your enemies. Desmond Dwarf, that's not but, even a dwarf. That's but here, you. now it's for pulling all of the coagulated blood out of your body. Yeah, here, here it's the Oregon Trail. Right. Just, now initiative is done and you guys see that it's hard to say where what who but the lang spider's corpse has essentially formed a gate i i'm curious with my character background being a hell knight but i know where this gate goes to you would be able to make the check make the uh, uh like our knowledge uh, knowledge uh, uh lore hell knight would yeah yeah perfect? yeah that's fine you can roll that uh, 36. Okay, anybody else want to roll anything before I start spouting off? Uh, he's probably gonna cast something to heal himself just a little bit. That's fair. Do you uh, have heal as a as an occult sorcerer? Soothe. Soothe, okay. Mm -hmm. Soothe. Which is somewhat different. Uh, I am gonna look it up on here faster. I am also go I'm also going to be healing myself due to the template power. Yeah, yeah, you guys have that as well. Yeah, I got I got battle me medic and uh, healer's gloves, so I'm, I might touch someone up. Seems good. Since our our I think one of our clerics is whoopee portaled. Yep, whoopee portaled. It's like whoopsie portal, whoopee except portal. you didn't die this time. Only sexier. <laughs> it's like it's like whoopsie portal, but uh, Guinan shows up. <laughs> so, so with a thirty six, Artorius staring into the portal. Or the gate, rather. I got. I got to use the proper terminology. So you realize, at first, it's like looking into the void of space. That's what it appears to be, and the little lights appear to be like stars in the heavens. But upon further inspection, and upon like one plus one is is Hell Knight knowledge, also too, uh, <laughs> you can put it together that those little lights aren't actually stars. They're the conscious or rather the subconscious minds of people in the world as they are sitting and you're looking into the dimension of dreams which is partially kind of where the lang spider comes from of course the lang spider comes from well lang hence the name but that's lang exists within the dimension of dreams <laughs> uh would <laughs> Me mechanically, I cannot uh, close this gate, but can I do anything to close the gate using my, my knowledge? You cannot. There might be a ritual that maybe somebody you knew is qualified to cast, or like perhaps uh, given enough time, maybe you could finagle it enough time in research, but really it's you just need a really powerful dispel magic. Uh, Zandu, uh, do you know uh, any means to close this uh, gate? You know, I don't think Zandu has any ritual spells whatsoever. So, nope, unless you got some kind of dispel magic type thingy going on. But even then, it's probably not going to work. Zandu would also know that that leads into the dimension of dreams without having to roll. Just like looking in is enough. Yeah. How many hit points? Uh, like, how are you looking on hit points now after you've tried to um, give yourself a flail chest with your own axe? I'm uh, I'm rolling a soothe real quick here. I need to. 
put all the numbers together. Um, that's what it is. Plus seven. Okie dokie. Oh, gross. So I heal 34. Seems good. Seems good. Ugh. Yeah, right? Soothe. The exact amount of hit points that I've taken. Hmm, wow. So, I cannot close the gate. And I look to the party. So, how do you want to deal with this gate? I normally, if I were with my with my other Hell Knights, we could close this gate, but I don't feel comfortable having a gate open like this to a plane. Well, I mean, it seems pretty pretty easy to close. You could just break the legs off. Uh, I mean, unless you want to go floating around in, in dreamland. Why? You'd want to, though. Uh, Tommy, w with my character knowledge, would I know how to close the gate like like this without using ma using magical means no i would have answered again it, it's rituals or like a no. like a 10th level to spell magic thrown at it would probably hit it oh. um you know i think i'm gonna roll some uh would it lore great old ones be applicable to this in any way if this is related to the lengths uh to uh, Altak Naka, Nacha, Nacha, Altach, Nacha pronunciation. Yeah, that is Words the hardest great Nacha. old one's name to pronounce. <laughs> Giant nachos. But yeah, no, you can make a roll. <laughs> what nachos? Now? Okay. Damn it. Yeah, for, for choosing. That's a nat one. All right. So Xander rolls a natural uh, one. As Xander rolls a natural one, he gets a little too close to the portal. He kind of like leans forward, and you guys see. Oh, what's it? What's a good bit of symbolism for? I'm trying to think. I knew it. I knew we were gonna end up going through this stupid spider hole. First, it's his nose. It kind of like gets elongated out a little bit, and just kind of like as if he's being pulled <laughs> in, and then like his his face goes forward. He has no hair. He is a bald man. His back goes forward. His arms stretch out a little bit, and once like it almost looks like the dude's about to get ripped in half by the portal, and then he just kind of falls straight backwards onto the ground comatose but one not half. not in half but not in half one piece one one yeah. piece in a coma not two pieces in a coma. not a starfish you didn't you didn't get stargated oh stargate that's a good one i should get yeah, that was last week damn it <laughs> um yeah, I don't know what to do with him. He keeps touching things. <laughs> uh, it, it... With us not having that thing means you close this gate, I think we should locate <laughs> locate else elsewhere. I don't want to be around when more designates come comes out. Do I have All right, well, he's creatures? on the ground, so Yeah, I was gonna say Elbert's a... gonna be next to him like immediately like smacking his face. Right, he doesn't wake up. He definitely responds. He's like, mm, mm, like, you know, when you're like really, really, really like asleep, but awake enough. It's kind of like the whipped cream on your hand and the doo doo. And he, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I am picturing a scene from, from a Deadpool comic when uh, when Wolverine was knocked out and Deadpool was pretty much uh, bitch, bitch slapping Wolverine to get up again. <laughs> I also do that in that video game. Um, I want to roll a combat medic medicine check. Sure. Uh, combat uh, narcolepsy. <laughs> How do combat narcolepsy? Wake up! Uh, the DC oh, the is 20. Right. And I do just tap 30. So the, that's 2d10 plus wisdom. Sweet. Yeah, those feats oh, seem pretty good as far as, as far as like skill feats go. By the time you're at a level where you can make the DC, yeah, yeah right. Like Octarian will probably end up with. Uh, well, that'll uh, that'll probably region. bring Xandu up to full. But it doesn't wake Xandu up. Actually, really quickly, uh, let me let me get a charisma check from Xandu. Just a flat charisma. D twenty plus cha, 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 bro, cha. Ah, that could have been better. Usually, could have been worse. 
16. Uh, noted. 16 What's Homer doing? Gotcha. Helmut was just going to look up at, um, I want to really want to call him Brand Bradley. Brandon. <laughs> Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Um, Not much better than Bradley. <laughs> What's he going to do? Oh, yes. Your field medicine is not doing much for this spell carrier. What? I, ah, he's pretty what, beat what up. Would be... I think they portal in some dude's brain. It, it seems uh, Zandu you have a, have a connection to the gate, gate unit, and I don't necessarily like having such power on the other side, having control of him. We Artorius would know. Him. Artorius knows that it's not that he has a connection to the gate so much as he just got too close. Got got. Uh, we we should uh, locate to another part of the castle to see if uh, Zandu wakes up. Maybe being away from the gate for some time will help him recover a bit. Maybe it's like one of and those on and off things. What if we dunk him again? Uh, so would I know any knowledge how to? Help uh, re re relieve Zandu current uh, con con condition. You can make a check. I vote for the magic swirly. So not. <laughs> so, let's see. He. This is ma This is magic related. So, knowledge or arcana or occultism. occultism. Which one? Definitely occultism. I love that. That's its own knowledge check. Uh, twenty-eight. So it's like everyone enters the dimension of dreams when they're sleeping the more lucid you are the more like aware of the fact that you're there you are and like in the same way that a person on earth today can train themselves to lucid dream people on galerion can train themselves to enter the dimension of dreams fully take that times like a thousand and that's what zandu did like rather than training yourself to lucid dream he just like there's a door and the door says if you come too close to me you're gonna lucid dream so hard and that's what he did just <laughs> Ooh. i'm gonna make you lucid dream you piece of shit <laughs> but that that's to, to wake him up it's he'll probably get up on his own at some point is He's probably in a little degree of danger as well, because to enter, like, if you are in the dimension of dreams as just like a casual sleeper, and then something bad happens, like you have a bad dream, you'll wake up and go, huh! and that's the only thing bad that's going to happen to you. But as fully as Zandu has entered, should something bad happen to Zandu, Zandu will die. It's like the uh -huh. climax of Inception. Yeah, pretty much. Except there's spiders. It's like running around and there are trumpets and... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would. Dudes with machine guns. Oh, bad dream. <laughs> so would uh, moving uh, Zandu away from from harm would that help? I'm just trying to figure it, out. It would what... not, because it's no. the the harm will come in the dimension of dreams. You can move as certainly it would be a good idea to like like this is not the time to leave him on a one d six around like campfire because he can't defend himself. And then be dead. Better leave him on the campfire. <laughs> Four damage. But the, again, the danger is coming from inside. Okay, so we should definitely locate to another part of the castle so we are away from the portal. Okay. How so we like, went? Put his hammer on his back and like heave. Um, Zandu over his shoulder and switch to his light hammer. That's that's the expert weapon I'm going to take. I'll take a light hammer. Okay, cool. Um, nice. How about I carry him? Because I I don't need my hands free to fight. He can just do some spinning uh, kicks. Doesn't matter. I have a That's up to you, now. dude. I'm just making a suggestion. Uh, I can uh, carry. I can uh, I, I I can carry uh, Zand Zandu. So while we'll our while our gentlemen form. are having a conversation about who gets to carry who, Zandu manifests in the dimension of dreams, and it it feels wrong. Like, I guess the best way to say this is like, so right. they don't feel so wrong. No, I want to hold him. 
<laughs> this is, a, this is a, like a terrible love uh, love triangle for Zandu. Yeah, because he's not conscious. Yeah, anyway. Zandu, is, Zandu is in the middle of the triangle. Yeah, he's in the middle of the triangle and also the dimension of dreams. And it feels, it, it doesn't feel unlike going back to a place that you were really familiar with and really comfortable with like 10 years ago. And then you were to like go back now. Helmut Schultz. Helmut Shoulder. Ten years ago, you were in high school on Helmut Shoulder, and it felt right, and you were there, and you were king in the castle. And then ten years later, you go back to that high school for your ten-year reunion on Helmut Shoulder, I guess. And it feels wrong. It feels strange, but you're there. You can tell you've manifested fully. You have facsimiles of all your gear and stuff. What do you do? Well, um not expecting this uh is the portal like behind me in any way is no. there an out portal none portal you just kind of boop, floating in the void of space between people's dreams um uh, hmm. i suppose uh xandu will try some sort of perception check to see what feels off specifically okay Not rolling well today. Um, that would be a 23 perception. So the last time you were in the dimension of dreams, you were in the dimension of dreams as a thought form creature. Whether or not you knew you were a thought form creature, you were. Now you have a soul mm. and are a human native outsider. You're humanoid mortal. So you can tell your connection to the dimension of dreams is not as strong as it once was, because, like, you're not a creature of it. You literally were made of the essence of this. This would mm. mean... Uh, you you could tell coming in was a bit more of an effort than just normally, like, every time you sleep, you're rolling percentage dice. That kind of thing. You also... Gotcha. You know that, like, it's a lot easier for you back in the day to manipulate the dimension of dreams. You know now that what you can and can't do will be a lot more finite. Hmm. Which is not to gotcha. say, like, you can't walk. You can. But, like, if you were to try to manipulate the world somehow or, like, jump from where you are to someone's dream, it would take more effort. And, like, the consequences could be dire. <laughs> huh. Um. What, um... What does he happen to see around him besides just people dreaming? That's basically it. Just random dreams. Uh, you're not far from Lang. You can see like the ocean that leads to the plateau that is Lang. Close mm. enough that you could like fly walk there in a couple hours-ish. Xandu will fly the opposite direction of Lang. Okay. So to do so... Oh, you have wings. Never mind. Yes, I do have wings. I lied. You don't have to do a thing. You are able. You fly in the opposite direction of Ling. Dreams unfold before your, not feet. You're flying before your nose because you're flying. <laughs> Nothing happens. You're able to explore. You don't really see anything out of the ordinary. I mean, it's the dimension of dreams, but nothing jumps out and tries to bite you. The Void Weaver hasn't taken notice of you yet. Good, good. Probably a good thing. That's why Xandu's going away from the dimension, or uh, away from Lang. He doesn't want to be noticed. Fair. Um, hmm. That's, uh, that's really about it. He just sort of doesn't want to be noticed by any of the denizens of Lang and just sort of blend in, I guess, as much as he can within the dimension of dreams. All right, sure, you can do that. And then we will go back to Helmut and Bradley and Artorius carrying Xandu's body to where exactly? I don't know. Uh, you just said we should pick him up. I got the feet, you got the shoulders. He's not that heavy. All right, fine. I drop my half. Xandu feels a strange disturbance in the dimension of dreams. 
Almost as if his feet have hit the ground suddenly. I'm carrying him over my shoulder. Almost as if his feet have hit a fully armored that, buttocks. It's like dragging him by the scruff of his neck. <laughs> like, he's, like he's a cat folk. No more skooma for you! Rub his nose in the gate, then walk off with him, dragging. Good. Um. Yeah, where are we even going? You guys are, you're in the city of Corvosa, which is one of the biggest cities in Berizia. You're looking, you have been looking for a long time for Michaela LaCroix, who's somewhere in the city, which is populated entirely by free-willed, mindless, wandering undead. You've explored most of the city. You realize the city has a barrier that's protecting it from the effects of the eternal winter, but there's no one alive here. You've been exploring pretty much all over the region, which you have in a handout, Joe, I'm pretty sure, and everyone watching at home can see that map on OBS or Twitch or YouTube. Looking Right now you guys are in the castle at uh, Castle Corvosa, right at the heights there. It's a chelish castle built on top of an old Shawanti ziggurat that's been just defaced horribly crucifixes everywhere you assumed you would find mccaleb somewhere in the castle but you have not and what it, so are we after mccaleb now or is Andrew still knocked out both yes at least, at least yes to both. You, okay ataris would want to make sure zandu is uncon he is conscious before going after Michaela, his past experience at the Hell Knight tells him that it's best to go in force to make sure the first strike is it is a su successful one. That's accurate, yeah. Can uh, Zandu find Michaela's dream while he's wandering around? You could certainly look. He uh, entered relatively close to the physical location in the material plane, so I don't know if that corresponds to anywhere nearby in the dimension of dreams. Probably not, but who knows? You could definitely, if that's nah, what you want to do, you could look. The, the metaphysical realm is on a one-to-one -one ratio with, with Earth. <laughs> <Man. laughs> it just kind of sits over top. Yep. <laughs> like <laughs> oil that has risen to the top. Because the dreams. Yeah. Of yeah. fat Americans everywhere. Out. Okay, uh, yeah, what? sure, we can, we can roll with that. That seems good. Percentage dice will decide your fate. Oh, I rolled some perception for it, but okay. Good, what'd you roll? Because that's 78, it's looking pretty I, good for you. I rolled a uh, 29. So yes, you are able to find Michaela's dreams. You have to double back a little, and the dreams sit uncomfortably close to Lang. But it's there. Mm. Uncomfortably close to Lang. Mm -hmm. Do it. You practically live here. <laughs> right? It's yeah. like I was born from this place. Yes. Right? Because you can't stop touching shit. With, with, this being, <laughs> being, with, this, with this being his home, effectively, he should have a uh, ho have a physical home in here with the amount of time he's been to it. And then, then, and then the game died, and he died, and he came back as a people, so it's kind of like... This yeah. used to be his home, now he's homeless? Yeah, he lives in uh, Valhalla with the rest of you. He's crashing there until things blow over. Zandu yeah. will cast... Uh, uh, Zandu will try to cast Phantasmal Killer into the dream and see what happens. Oh, good. Roll me percentage. Oh, that's, that's a bad... Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> We're going after Michaela, right? You are. I know, but you're, you're casting a bad dream into the realm of dreams while you're in the realm of dreams. I'm casting yeah. it specifically into someone else's dream while I'm like on the border of it. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. So you the piss in a pool the doesn't mean you don't get wet. <laughs> the splashback. <laughs> you still get pissed on you, and so does everyone else. Everyone's is that, upset. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that current situation when it comes to his home? He is a big 
v- Vagabond. Yeah, that's accurate. So what's that percentage dice? Oh, you want me to roll the percentage dice? If you would, yeah. You're peeing oh, okay, in the pool ahead. of dreams! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am thinking of a episode Episode of episode of South South of about a pee in pool. <laughs> okay, so you cast Phantasmal Killer. You're able to do so. The spell resolves, but as the you don't recognize what it is. As the caster, you just see that like that shimmery too much heat on the highway. I know the Canadians don't understand what that means, but sometimes yeah, I know what it is. It gets hot here in the summer. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. So that happens, and as it happens. It kind of like reflects back on you and sort of like it almost forms like half a shield in front of your body. And now I have to make a save, don't I? Isn't that how Phantasmal Killer works? With the four degrees uh, of things that can happen to me. That oh. character. <laughs> Did someone get yep. scared or yawn? Uh, <laughs> I was reenacting how he was going to react to like this. I should movie. note he was casting this as oh. fifth level. Got it. So. As, as a sorcerer, when you begin your prep, you pick two spells, and you can heighten those spells to any level. Oh, wait, no, this is, uh, this is not one I could heighten, so no, it's just fourth level. Okay, fair enough. Normal. Gotcha. Phantas- Phantasmal Killer. That was one of the things that, that the Darrow said long, long ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that is Tuesday. Did you bring your cart? Yeah, plain of a... Uh, Do I have Darrow? Or the Darrow and the Beast Sherry? I need to know this. I am the Queen of France. I am the Queen of France. I don't have Darrow. I hate this stupid game. We're going back to 5th edition (laughs) D&D until I get my Darrow. I'm mad. Can't stand it. What am I doing? I'm looking at Phantasmal Killer. That's where we're at. Just, uh, so the DC should be, uh, the roll plus 10. The spell roll plus 10. So 25, I think. It would be 25. Mm -hmm. Should have that spell decent. I have a thirty-six. Yeah, it's calculated though. Versus a twenty-five. So does that mean I've critically succeeded? Uh, you exceeded it uh, by ten or more. So yes. Okay, so I've critically succeeded, and Which I means am. Means you are unaffected. Yeah, just nothing happens. Mm. What you, happens you, when can, you pee in the pool? You can, yeah, nothing happens when you pee in the pool. That's the moral you can take away from this, guys. Nothing happens in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big cloud of yellow. Z, 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 very important. How dehydrated are you? Literally in water. Z, 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 very important lesson that I do learn in this plane is he is nothing. He the ant among the sea of dreams. Absolutely. He used to he be much more But powerful. one piss in the ocean. But one drop of <laughs> urine. <laughs> In the ocean of urine, you Zandu Zandu here is vague, like it's really weird because you can't actually hear it coming from like one dream into the big like over dream where you are, but it, it feels like confusion coming in your direction. Can I get away from it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you can. Sure, you can. I will move away from the confusion. And as you start to move back. Cloud, I swear to God. Cloud appears. It's Joe's cat. It is the boss monster. Listen, Karen. <laughs> McCaleb comes flying out of his dream. It kind of like folds into itself as it disappears, oh. and he enters the oh, dimension shit. of dreams fully with his bastard sword drawn in one hand. Just you! <laughs> I'm here for you, Dick! Gross! <laughs> Dick collector, bitch! Clearing this now! Remove all turns! I'm assuming this is, uh, initiative? Make yeah. a perception check! When he said fly, I imagined him, like, firms for some reason. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I don't know why. It feels odd. Per- perception? It is, it is initiative now. He should have been stealthy, or been like, hmm, how does occultism work? I forget. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, can I, can I... Can I... Can I can I can I use acrobatics for my initiative? The Atarian's trying to figure that out just constantly. How can I do cartwheels forever? Just I'm doing cartwheels, live me be. I have a bow. Ha <laughs> I'm that 20 why, dex meme. That's me. Why are we rolling initiative? You aren't, but Xandu is, because Xandu's not. Okay, that's what I thought. That's why I was confused. Who what is Mickey? Say? That's Mikaleb shortened. Because I don't know how to spell the name you came up with, Donald. So from a Mickey. Come I, I, on, I, I, we're I, I, on I, I, Twitch. Don't be creepy. I, 
I, I I thought he Makeda was in uh it's a was Seinfeld in, was, was in the Oklahoma Caleb game. is just a really Scottish name. Plus I had this mm -hmm, I had that. Well alrighty, I'm going first. Followed by Z -Z Zandu. Alright, so the top of the round. What happens? I'm going to make a check. I add, I know what I add. You don't need to know. What do I, oh, oh, might be in trouble. No, my high level NPC. He is in trouble now. Okay, no, never mind. We're fine. Yeah, I add my do do. Oh, yeah, no, that's bad. Okay, so you see as McCaleb comes flying towards you, he kind of like shimmers out of existence for a little while. Just kind of like. Almost as if to like dimension door the rest of the gap into you. But instead he just kind of materializes a couple of inches forward. And as he does so, he reaches out his hand and a blast of cold air just out at him. And then what happens is a couple of things. First. He goes full Dalek. First I roll a D100. The real dirt clot. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> oh my god oh that's bad that's really bad he should have known better so as this happens you see like he begins bleeding out the eyes his what? head kind of swells a little bit and then that shield type thing that i had described in front of him like or in front of you rather the spell connects with that and then turns back at him wild magic is weird oh <laughs> <laughs> Is wild magic a thing? Your wild magic is a thing. Oh, the, the phantasmal killer wild magic was Xandu got spell turning on the next spell that targeted him. And then my wild oh, magic, shit. my wild magic is one point of ability bleed per turn. <laughs> so I'm in trouble. Here's my reflex save. Uh, what's my DC? I probably pass. Yeah, I pass. Do I critically pass? I'm adding 20. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's a critical pass. Yeah, that's right. So I take... No damage as he kind of like backflips around his own cone of cold, pissed off and surprised. He swings his bastard sword at you. For a 33 to hit. That hits? Does it critically hit? Uh. Did my internet die? What are you wearing? Bacon what? armor. I came <laughs> and I just heard, what are you wearing? Uh, uh, yeah, I, black I, khakis? I, I literally am wearing khakis. I, I, I'm thinking, how low is your AC? It should be at minimum 20 without any modifier added on. 36 damage. Why? Proficiency. Oh, 20. 10 plus proficiency. A 10 plus 4. So 24. Your AC is 24. Oh, so I almost. Oh, it's AC is 10 plus proficiency, doesn't... Yeah. At 10 yeah. oh. plus, plus your that is 27. proficiency. I have it written down as 17. Not fair enough. Oh my Jesus. god, can you imagine? <laughs> I was Level 1's oh. rough. What's your armor class? 4. <laughs> I'm curious. How, how, how do you have the 80 of 17? Do you have a negative stat I do, do not know of? Okay, look, in the or playtest, you, not, you, you can have a negative stat if you'd like to, but please don't <laughs> weigh down your party with bad decisions. I'm going to quote that bit of the playtest rulebook just forever. <laughs> okay, so my AC is 27 then. Gotcha. Okay, so second attack is a 24, which which misses. The first swing of his bastard sword cuts into you, and then the second one, he tries to, like, flip it around, and it misses. Now it's on you. Mm. He's really pissed, but he's beyond words at this point. Blood's pooling <laughs> out of his eyes. It's real so bad. And and the, the three people the three people on planet Galarion can feel Xandu start to convulse a little bit and start to like seize up a little. So did I take damage from that? Yep, thirty-six. Thirty six damage? I take a piece of hard tack and I shove it in his mouth so he doesn't bite his tongue off. Got it. <laughs> Instead he's like hanging off Helmut's back, he just <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's seizing. <laughs> You guys are such good friends. I thought 36 was the roll to hit. No, 36 was the damage. 33 was the to hit. Oh, okay. The 5d8 plus 10 is your damage. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Hmm. 
five five d eight. That's a lot of damage. It is. I really like it. Yeah, that's a big boost. Yeah. Uh, uh, it could be 5d12, but I chose to cast and I needed a somatic component for the cleric. So, on Zandu, yeah? Yep, yeah. yep. What does Zandu want to do? Um, Zandu is going to use uh, his spell points to use uh, Unusual Anatomy. Sure. Which does a crap ton of stuff. Ray. Uh, yeah. There's too much. Um, that spell like ability does not trigger the wild magic. I shall be. Yeah, it's a it's a power. OK, does it have the manipulate uh, trait or the concentrate? No trait? Power. Yeah, he has some power. He used to have much it's more power. polymorph and transmutation. Okay, gotcha. So I will not use my reaction. And in this case, it is. Uh... Well, actually, it might have manipulate because of somatic casting. Oh, OK, fair. I yeah. still will not use my reaction. Okie dokie. I need to check what kind of bleed I have. Oh, my god. So mean. Oh, heavy. It's not light. Uh, so I gain resistance 10 to precision and extra damage from critical hits. OK. Um. I get dark vision and my skin starts to ooze acid. Oh, gross. Do yes. it. And... Then... Don't lick them. <laughs> or do. We're already trippy enough. We're in the dimension of dreams. Right? Um, ah, oh, they're, they're start to seize up. Would, uh, as this has casting components, would this trigger. Um, Spell strike at all? I don't know what spell strike is. I'm building a gish soon. I need... It's a uh, feat. Ah, fair enough. Spell strike. I'm a suit. Or magical know. striker. Uh, magical striker. Oh, magical striker. It's yes. a non cantrip spell because it has verb. It has powers are. I spell. believe powers are in fact spells. I could be wrong. I think for the sorcerer they are, but not universally. Okay, fair enough. Then it does trigger in your weapons. Um, Enhancement bonus does go up. There. They're really they're just spells for people who aren't spellcasters. Right. Says the monk who would know. Spells for people who like bad news. <laughs> yes. Um, and then he will swing it. He can only use one hand because he had to use a somatic casting component before. Understood. Uh, so that is. Um. I'm just going to roll nice. in here. The nice thing about powers is they're pretty sure they automatically scale. Mm -hmm. Yes. 1d20 plus this. 34, 34. to hit. I put this character sheet together on the fly today, so I'm still like... <laughs> Let's see, so I have 30 before anything. I have things. Do... Okay, that does miss. He's able to dodge out of the way of it. With not a whole lot of effort. Dang. That's going to be tough. Won't be easy. That was a good roll, too. It was, too. That was a 16 for you. Yep. Let me be 100% sure. I don't think this triggers a reaction. I think you have to do a reaction. I think, don't I? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, gotcha. So that was two actions. Or was the was is, the power is like Zandu like flopping around three like actions. Fish. Zandu three is kind of like it's seizing up pretty hard on on Helmet's back. Okay, his Helmet will set him down on the ground and right. uh like try and hold him down. Okay. 
uh, Artorius, Bradley, want to do anything about? I would help uh, hold uh, Zandu down. I don't want him to hurt him. I don't want Zandu physical body to hurt him himself. That's fair. So, so would it be a athletic athletic check would be appropriate? Um, maybe in a couple rounds. Right now, between you and Helmut, you're able to. He's not conscious. He's just seizing. It's not hard to like one of you on each shoulder and the hard tech the ah, so he doesn't bite his tongue and die. And I'll put it like um like a blanket underneath his head so he doesn't just clock out on the on the yeah that's fair. Okay, uh, I, so I, at the top of the round, Caleb holds his hand out and he begins like he kind of Xander recognizes Charlie Xing more than anyone else ever. So he's never seen exactly what it looks like because he usually he's the one doing it, and that's Caleb is trying to Charlie X it here. It doesn't work. <laughs> Instead, he's just gonna swing his sword. Mm, we're gonna commit. To Everyone else it just looks like he's just trying to take a really hard <laughs> dump. Pretty much. <laughs> but to those in the know, they know something else. Is what else can I do? Oh my god, that dude did all his poop in his pants. Sure, we can do that. I feel like I had way more than that. Yeah, I do. Well, I don't, because it counts as two attacks, because he's going to try to power attack, 25 to hit. Secret time, my dad won't shoot his pants in a banana uh, public secret time. <laughs> Man, you will. Um, I watched that yesterday, Kate. Yeah. Reactive shield with the shield spell. Okay. Along with that, and... uh. No, that does not hit. And so then the shield takes the damage. No, not always. I'm using reactive shield, the feet. Oh, oh, fair. Okay, never mind. Oh, nice. All right, Xander, you're up. He definitely yeah, like. Yeah, so it doesn't hit. As he takes another point, you just gotta last like, like, eighteen more rounds. He'll bleed. And, uh... <laughs> He'll take so much intelligence bleed. He's very dead. He just he takes his bastard sword in both hands and tries to bring it down on you. <laughs> So, you speak childish? I, I think it, it would be Taldane. But does the new... but Chelish is the question that I've asked, actually, Donald. Do you Chelish, bro? Uh, Do you Chelish, bro? No, he does not anymore. He and... lost a lot of languages when he died. <laughs> it's funny how that works. You distinctly yes. hear him yelling something at you in Chelish as the sword comes down. And now it's on so you. so much, but lost so much. <laughs> right? <laughs> um... Gained a dwarven war axe, lost a lot of other relevant stuff. Right. <laughs> I have Zandu, my new axe. Uh... So actually, really quickly, at the top of your turn, Zandu, make me... It doesn't cost an action, because I'm calling for it. Make an occultism check. An occult check? Yep. Okie dokie. That's a 20. Okay, so... When you're in the dimension of dreams and you're aware that you're in the dimension of dreams, you are able to manipulate the like your environment. You're able to manipulate things around you up to and including other personages. It looks like Michaela has tried to do that twice and both times he just can't quite keep it together. Mm. In a mechanical sense. And I'm reading this in 1E because I literally just popped up in Planar Adventures for this. I saw this yesterday. I thought it was really cool. As a standard action, a number of times during the dream equal to your charisma bonus, or for you, one action, the dreamer can attempt one impossible action, such as casting a spell you can't normally cast, gaining the effect of a spell as if it had been cast conjuring a magic item. This requires a successful charisma check. DC 10 plus the level of the spell being cast, level of the spell effect replicated, or half the caster level of the item conjured. Non-magical items are caster level zero. So it's not hard to... Man, I need a longsword. <laughs> right. Other fantastic feats are also possible with GM approval. And yes, no psychic duels. We're not going to... I don't want to figure that out in the playtest. Yeah. Those are bad enough uh, money. <laughs> yeah. That's, if, you need, if you need to stop a game in Pathfinder First Edition, I'm telling you, instigate psychic duel. Right. Oh, man. I mean, they're kind of there. There's only two of them, uh, and they're in length. Uh, Dude, this is a psychic place where people are dueling, you see. <laughs> uh, back in uh, back in Israel, uh, we would uh, fight just man to man. 
in the wilderness, in the cold, one man, one one man leave and and live, the other die. One man leave. One man die. Say back uphill. Uphill both ways in the snow. Yeah, just like I literally had to go uphill both ways in the snow going to high school because that whole road is just hills. How close is he to me? Five feet away. Five feet away. Okie dokie. Um. Zandu will cast uh, cast Vampiric Touch and try to hit him with it. Alrighty. This will provoke a reaction. Ah. 43 to hit. 43 uh, would critically hit. Oh, good. So that's 10 <sighs> d12. Oh, damn. Because I'm holding my bastard sword in two hands now. Plus the mod twice. Nice. So, thank you. 10d12 plus 20. You go to cast as you hold out your hand. Uh, before before the critical resolves, I need you to roll percentage dice. I'll let that happen first. May the odds be <laughs> ever in your favor. 73. 73. Okay. That's... Oh, that doesn't... One random tree or animal targeted by the spell or in the spell's area is affected by Awaken. That doesn't help us. No. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> that, tell just... What? That, is, that, is, that is terrible. Roll it's again. Reroll. Reroll. In the, in the plane. <laughs> Reroll. 98. No. 98. <laughs> just... 90, on a 98, the spell is extended. I'm not sure what that means. First, I'm going to damage you. 84 damage. Jeez, you're going to die. That, uh, yeah, Zandu is unconscious and dying one. Dying two. I critically hit you. you you're, you're unconscious in a plane like you're unconscious. <laughs> he's, he's gone to the second level of the dream now. What is happening? <laughs> now, how the hell does... Where'd that uh, button go? <laughs> I don't know how disrupting spells works in Pathfinder Second Edition. Does anybody know? Does anybody know what the hell just happened? Um, no, nope. That dude has got a terrible rash on his ass. That's yeah, he does. Happened. That's very true. But also, what has happened? Blood magic, overwhelming spell, freaking casting it from the. I don't know where to find. I'm sure the spell was lost, but to err in your favor. Page 196, disrupted by reactions. Hey, so Colin. Hey, I'm, I'm curious. So, what is your max hit point you have uh, if you prefer to heal? Um, 118. Okay, so is 84 damage equal to or greater than? Your level. Is what? Is 84 damage equal to or greater than your level? Is that, that's how it works. Is uh, Yes, it is. Good, good. If the damage is... I lost it. If the damage you take is equal to or greater than your level, the spell is lost. Sometimes the virtue is wasted. When you lose the spell, you've expended the prepared slot. Blah, 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 blah. But the spell generates no effect. So that's fun. Okay, so Xandu... Returns to himself, but he's he's unconscious. Like basically, what goes down is you guys have set Zandu down and you're holding him down, and suddenly a gash appears, shoulder to like hip across his body, just as he starts bleeding out all over the place. Ah, what the fuck! <laughs> Thank you, Francis. <laughs> oh, like looks up for a second. I uh, uh, would a. Uh... Would, would it make sense, Artorius, would know this damage was caused in the dream world? Yeah, yeah, you could probably, unless you did something or Helmut did something. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, we, uh, need Helmut! To his, stop sta scared to death! We, uh, we need to treat his, uh, wounds, uh, right, right away. And you I do? have, I, and I have, uh, and I have potions on me to heal his, heal his wounds. Okay, if, so the potion won't heal, well, we could heal his wounds, but it won't stop the dying condition. So I will, uh, so, Artorius' action. He's the first one to talk. Okay, so healing. 
So, he, so he, so Xandu physical wounds is healed by, by eight, as I am using a elixir of life. Okay, sure. So he goes from zero to eight. Actually, that means he can't. He could wait. Fumble. I just go to eight. Yeah, there's no negative hit points in this game anymore. It's like you were you wait, went from X. I thought elixir of life was really powerful though. No, that's literally uh, just a cure wait, wait, wait. potion. Yeah. yeah, it's any healing potion. All the healing potions are just called elixirs of life. Mm. Yeah, but I thought the elixir of life, it would have been lesser elixir of life if it was 1d8. I thought elixir of life was more than that. Oh, uh, it would be... Uh, I was uh, looking at the wrong uh, potion. It, it, I, I rolled again, so it's 6. Uh, so okay, so you're good. healed by... It's a good thing that I have these things printing down on my character sheet for how much it heals. Yeah, no, that's a good thing when we write it down on our character sheet the effects of things. I agree. Xandu goes to positive hit points, still has the dying condition. Bradley, How many hit points do I get? That's a good question. Uh, six. Six total. Bradley or Helmut, anything you want to do? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. So he said earlier that his, his brain was inside the dreamland, right? Yep. After he went and touched the thing that we told him not to touch? Pretty much. Okay, so uh, Bradley's gonna, yeah, Bradley's gonna stand up, action, speak louder than words. He's gonna. How far away from the portal did we get? Not far. Right. Well, mm... not far. I'm gonna run back to that portal. I right, understood. Make a charisma check. Mm. Make a charisma check. Make a charisma check, monk. This is gonna be real bad for me. Dwarf monk. I'm I'm curious. Uh, so what is what is your charisma with the? Probably eight. Not fucking high, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> not, 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 not even with the template. Oh yeah, his template would raise. Sixteen to total. A sixteen is just enough. Again, Bradley enters the dimension of dreams for a second. He distinctly feels the urge that he might be a pug dog and he might be this is a bad dream and why is he a pug dog i <laughs> love pugs i know i think that force would have been amazing if i just they like like they've been hit in the face with a shovel it's it reminds oh. me of home fail the same you're having a nightmare and that nightmare is oh, your oh, trap no. as a bit of a polymorph oh, no. Our dwarf went into the planet wings is everyone going into the yeah he kind of just now? he goes a sprinting and he goes running and you see him get like into the portal and then he just kind of like falls flat on his face fast asleep By the the, way, what are you doing Yes. Uh, I guess Hub will follow him. All right, Christmas save. Or Christmas save, Jesus. Charisma check. It's Charisma kind of, save. It's kind of a We're save. We're playing fifth edition now. <laughs> yeah. Did, we, we, we are not playing 5e. I'd rather not, yeah. I haven't played Hubble, 5e with you for a Hubble while. Say, hey, was a that a weapon a reach weapon? It was not. Okay, take 2d6 of acid damage. Fine. Yes. Okay, so Helmut also. Helmut's a little more, like, very sure he didn't turn into, like, an arctic fox as he appears in the Dimension of Dreams. Before we go any farther with that, though, Xandu goes from dying two to dying one. A bald arctic fox. Yeah, would be weird. <laughs> Wait, I go to dying two? From dying, you are at dying two, <laughs> then you go to dying one, because now it's your, like, turn in the initiative, and you'll automatically go up by one because you have positive hit points. But you still need to make a death save. Because you still have a dying value. Wait. Um. Wait, I don't know if fast recovery plays into that or not. Let's look together. But fast recovery. If I remember fast recovery, it's only affect hit points gained by arresting, if I recall. Yep, looks right to me. It also affects poison and stuff. And poison the drain condition. Yeah, no. Okay. Just checking. You reduce your elevated condition by two when you succeed at your fourth save or spend a day of downtime training. What are you, a Saiyan? You've got negative levels. You gotta go do push ups until they're gone. <laughs> so, you want me to make a. Uh, gotta make that save? Yep. Con check. Uh, that's a 16 on the dice. Okay. I need modifiers. Which is Constitution? He is a fort save, I think. Yeah. Okay, just a fort save, so... Yeah. I was that would five. be a 32. Alright, I think that fails. Yeah, that's, so then you go... You don't fumble, but you do fail, and Xandu goes... With 32? Holy crap. Yeah. 
he goes from dying two to dying one, back down to dying two. So before we figure out what, what the boys in the Dreamlands are doing, Artorius, he's going to die without your help. Uh, so where are we exactly at the, at the moment in the castle? I'm just figuring out how safe the bodies are. Oh, well, Bradley and Helmut have just kind of collapsed in the armory. It's, it's kind of a wonder that Bradley, who just kind of ran in, doesn't, like, careen into a wall of pikes and just, like, Mortal Kombat himself to death. I would have been fine. Yeah, normally, Last minute Artorius would, normally Artorius wouldn't take any risk. So I'm going to roll D20 to see if Artorius is going into the plane of dreams or not, based upon it, if it's odd or evens. Okay. How do you how do you become a hell knight without taking risks? You literally have to fight a devil. And my my character he 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 simply takes the necessary risk risk wearing the uh, hazards uh, before he do anything ding 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 dangerous. No, that's fair. Uh, a cal calculated risk. How much harm do I want to put myself into to get the job done? On the subject of putting yourself into harm, you know if you go running into the Dimension of Dreams, you are leaving Xandu to his fate. Hmm. Okay, so I got an odd number, so I'm going to protect the the uh, bodies. Okay, sure. Is there anything you'd like to do for Xandu to help stabilize him? Uh, I'm going to, to try to use my... Can I use medicine to treat his body of uh, to make sure it is stabilized or is that, that is the check body? yeah we do need a medicine check yeah. okay yeah, I, 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 not in combat so he can definitely do that i just didn't know okay. if there's anything else you could do okay so, so to administer first aid uh, 29 uh medicine the dc and i, right, and I do have a healer's kit on me if it's relevant okay it gives you a bonus plus two i believe yes yeah, so 31 total uh, yeah i'm looking hang on I need, like, multiple versions of this PDF open. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. A creature yeah. with zero hit points gains one hit point, or you end the persistent bleed damage. So I guess you can you can renege that if you want. A medicine check cannot improve his dying condition. It can literally oh. just bump it up. By... <laughs> Actually, so it can't on. improve it by one? It, it cannot improve it by one. I think I may have told uh, Colin wrong. Damn it, there's a hero point for you. <laughs> You can use that to cheat death. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. There you go, though. So I, I, I think can't. you can't have your dying value decrease while you're... Uh, if you're one hit point or more, yeah, okay, there's no failure at one hit point or more. So literally, you can just... Uh, you're at dying one. You can't take damage or any... Well, if you take damage, it's bad. But like you're literally rolling to knock off all your values and stuff okay so i'm going to be uh, keeping the bodies protected and try to stabilize zandu's body to the best of my ability sure so zandu make a make a fourth save uh, so zandu will the, will the fourth save for me zandu does zandu's the one who's not dying he's conscious he's at one no I, he didn't pass the check he's at one hit I, point his dying value, hang on, hang on. Actually, uh, at the top of Xandu's turn, he goes from dying one to the dying ignition actually wears off at the top of his turn. And Xandu, you find yourself back on the floor of Castle Corvosa. It hurts. Everything hurts. I can't you are stands needed. over you. Ah, thank you. Emmy gets another uh, point because I don't think you did it on purpose, but no dead naming. All right, so I'm uh, if I'm conscious and it's my turn, I'm gonna heal myself. Okay. While uh, that's going on, while you do the yeah. healing, how much? Well, actually, Zandu, Artorius, do you want to enter the dimension of dreams? Nope. I am. I am staying in the material plane, making sure that the body is safe. Yeah, dude. Xandu is going to heal himself before entering the Dimension of Dreams. Okay. But do you plan to enter the Dimension of Dreams, though? Um, after healing several times to reach full health, yeah. Okay. Can you do that as a cantrip? Um, Soothe is not a cantrip, so no. 
Okay, fair enough. If Sooth is a cantrip, my bitch is not a They're called Mr. Jesus. Barnes! So Xandu does the things Xandu needs to do to heal himself, then Xandu... If Xandu wishes to enter the Dimension of Dreams, it's another charisma check. Wait, okay. Uh, I gotta roll a whole bunch of shit to make sure that I'm not... Like, because I can't fully heal myself all at once. Sure, fair enough. Um... So... That would be... Nine. And I wish there were some trees in the Six. dreams that you could have just awakened. I'm right? the dream tree! Hello, everyone! <laughs> it would be hilarious if someone was built. Oh, that polybuffed. sucked. That was not the best, no. A lot of Here. ones. Yeah, yeah. with you. Balfa polymorph the sheep. I mean the tree. The a little wooden sheep. <laughs> now you are a smaller sheep. What trees Zandu... are the sheep of plants? Oh. Right. What does Andu uh, mean... doing 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 wrong? Does that does that Dylan Dylan like cause I do? Uh okay. I'm at 34 and I'ma heal myself again. That same spell. 46. Yeah, 46. Okay, sure. That brings my hit points up to 80, and then I am going to knock 2d6 off of that. So it is at a lower level, because this is one of the spells I can do that with. Uh, That's 32. Hundred and twelve, close enough. Good enough. Back in you go. Uh casting a false life first. Fair enough. Which should put me uh give me uh seventeen temporary hit points as well. Okay. And then back in. Already make that charisma check. Okie dokie. So did Artorius like pull him all the way out of the dream realm somehow? He came out of the dimension of dreams on his own. Uh, when he went to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, Time to go. Time to go back to our body for the longer sleep. Bye forever. Well, sorcerer, how'd you for do? 21. Yeah, of course you pass. You got all the charisma. You emerge back into the dimension of dreams. All three of you are around each other. Now what? What other dreamlike monsters do? I, Ooh, I, know. I don't know. Where'd he go? What happened? Huh? <laughs> Did, it... and what Did other... you leave and come back? What other aberrations are in the tome, uh, in the book there? Oh, I'm looking. I could yeah, use a war any... sworn. Do you guys want to fight a war sworn? War swarms can make attack of opportunities as a free action. That's, that's really that's, good. That's, that's rough. War swarms are you even could have scarier. left at any time. Why did you stay? You almost dead. <laughs> I couldn't leave. Uh, are, are, are there? Then why'd any you other... come back? Uh, Tommy, is there any other uh, love? Because you went in. Somebody had to save your asses. <laughs> I would have been fine. Yeah, right. McCaleb's here. Which one's Michaela? You know, the one yeah. that Donald named. The one we're trying to kill? Lucia's father. Oh, yeah. It is a. Uh, it is not uh, my fault. I, I feel like I'm just dragging you down that. through the mud constantly. You know, the one that Donald named. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, Star Spawn of Cthulhu. You can fight that. Let's not fight that. <laughs> Shoggoth? Mm, that's not. Shogger. Everybody loves a good shaga. Yeah, no. Get a little shambler action in here. 
it. So Helmut's just going to look at um, Endu. Is, so where was this place of battle at? Yeah, who stomped all over your chest with a sword? Well, I suppose Zandu will start heading in that direction, looking for Mikaelab. Okay, it's not hard. I can't, I can't tell if this is a Brooklyn accent anymore. If I'm just becoming stereotypically Jewish, <laughs> <laughs> you are able to find line you walk. <laughs> <laughs> You're able to find where you fought Mikhail Zandu, and basically what what happens like is you don't necessarily like turn the corner because it's awkward. You're dreaming, but it appears no that he just kind of like rebuilt his dream and is back in it. You see just that little like speck of light, almost as if he <laughs> yeah, woke up to just starts putting just things back. Woke up to kick your ass and laid back down. <laughs> Living the dream. You should fire another bolt of urine in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm referencing in character, but out of character, you should you should fire another bolt of urine in there. Damn, Gugs. Did Gugs make it? No. Damn it. No, oh, Gugs. Gugs. <laughs> you. Can't do that. Uh -huh. I've got ghouls. Lame ghouls? Ghasts. So Helmut will turn to um, Sandu again and just... Poke the man beast again. That's just hunting like the thing he is. Oh wait, can you hide here? Is there a place you can hide inside the shadow? The but the, not the shadow realm, the dream realm. We're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh's. <laughs> <laughs> a strange old man with one golden eye turns the corner. He's way too into this children's card game. There's no corners <laughs> here, Tommy. <laughs> the dream the realm of dreams is completely ovular. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> he turns the oval. That's weird. That makes no sense. He's doing the NASCAR. He's playing NASCAR. He's doing the NASCAR. I suppose uh, it's another turn. phantasmal killer going in there. Alrighty, roll the D100. Wild magic is my favorite magic. <laughs> I stand throwing behind in that. <laughs> This is the wild magic room, Pathfinder Unchained as well. There's like so many. Oh, we got a 63. What happens on 63? Oh my god. Okay. Do I have that spell in the playtest? <laughs> <laughs> oh my right. god, what is it? A shatter spell affects a five foot radius around each target of the spell or the spell's area. <laughs> <laughs> He's like drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, like here we spell. go. Do we have a spell? Oh, he's, in, he's the target of the spell, mm -hmm. so... Looking at a window. Shatter's gotta be a spell. How do I break I those shields? It's not in here. Cowards. With a sword or a hammer. Oh, thanks. Uh, several swords <laughs> and hammers just With a fist. fall out of the sky. Well, I mean, this, it's convertible. <laughs> yeah. We're essentially playing Pathfinder 1.5 right now. Helmet, the uh, he can throw his hammer into the dream. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Shatter destroys non-magical objects of crystal, glass, ceramic, or porcelain. All such unattended objects, but well, fortunately, he's not dreaming about glass, ceramic, porcelain. He's <laughs> dreaming about fine china. <laughs> and oh. suddenly a bull is conjured oh. into his dream. <laughs> Do we okay. start to hear a high-pitched frequency ringing and all Bradley can think about is fine china? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, regardless, I'll make that fort save. Oh. Not a fort save. It's, uh, first you gotta make a will save. Will save, yes, that's it. 44. Still in? Efficiency uh, bonuses like are weird. Check. It means I'm really good at stuff. Actually. Everyone's really good at everything. Yeah, that's no, so cool. Everybody can gish now. I like it. Yeah, I, th that's I think pretty much, actually uh, before before that dice matters, I'm about ninety percent. I might actually. Do 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 do. It's just some do do do. Must have those damage. There does not damage. Oh well, he actually. Well, he's unaffected. He dies. He dies. He dies right now. I, I wanted to see. I wanted to see no. if he was bolstered <laughs> against it. He's not. Well, that's fantastic. All the porcelain shatters and he passes out. He was asleep on the Ooh. toilet. 
The spoiler <laughs> shatters into a million pieces, rips open his jugular. Dave, like, sits on a bunch of broken porcelain and dies. Bleeds My ass is bleeding! <laughs> <laughs> he again is uh, unaffected, and... Yep. Y'all know the drill. Make a perception check, Bradley. I'll move. That feels Make so weird. I don't like that I'm asking. Really. Oh, wow. 35. I rolled 12 plus... Oh. Okay, okay, that was real Jewish. Uh, 30 total. 30 total. Hooray. And descending means how much is first? 29. Oh, none for me? I mean, you can add a 29. That's fine. I'll, so where is... Where, I'll, where also, is I'll, <laughs> I'll also re-roll, I guess. What do I add? I add what? 21... Mm, I had that. I had this. I boom. I have twenty eight. Oh, I've actually done a little worse. Thanks. Holy crap! Why is it so high? Why Efficiency bonuses. Is... What level is he? Higher than you. But 30. Zandu wants him to die, so he is angry now. Oh, he's gonna. How much? What's up? He's he basically is like five uh, foot in front of you, five feet down. Emerging from his also, dream. shouldn't he oh. still have whatever that weird drain his eyes bleeding thing going on? Yes, that's the thing. Yes, be but the only okay. reason is because if I were to cast something to remove it, I'd have to roll for wild magic. It would be cheating to just be like, "No, dude, you took care." So of you're it. saying I could smack him? Yeah, you can smack like his him. head at where he's at. Yep. Sweet, I want to hit him. Does a 37 hit him? It might. Hang on. I have to keep putting these numbers together on the fly. Because proficiency systems are weird. And I can't just, like, everyone has plus 15. Is he flat-footed? He hasn't acted. He's flat-footed. Well, no, that doesn't work that way anymore. It's only for rogues. So he's 30 plus... Mm. Okay, so what was the total? Did you die? Hmm? What was the total? No, I, I, I cut out for a second. Your attack roll. What then, was the total of your attack again. roll? I think it was 30 sweet. 37. 37 does it. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Um, and I am intimidating striking him. So he is flat footed until the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, and he is frightened one. Understood. And he takes. Oh, and then you roll d6 as well. Woo! Um, that's not a d12, that's a d20. There's a d12. That's okay. Um, 14, 20. So, 25 damage just from the weapon, and then. Uh, or wait, no. Uh, 20, 27 damage from the weapon and then an extra 6 electricity from the shock. Understood. From the shock rune. Um, and he is frightened 1. Okay. And flat footed until the end of my turn. Gotcha. Um, so I didn't have to move so I'm just going to do a non-power attack against him. Okay. Whew. Um, that... Why did the dice roll three times? What? I heard the dice hit the table three times. No, that was me tapping on the table. Oh, fair enough. Um, or that may have been me tossing the other two D12s off um, in front of my keyboard so I don't grab them by accident. Okay. Um, crap. That's a 32 to hit. Okay. 32. He's flat footed frightened. Frightened is to skill checks and something else, but not AC. So it does yeah. miss. It just barely misses. Not anymore. Barely misses. Alrighty. Bradley, there's a man who's That's... bleeding out the eyeballs and he's been hitting the head with your friend's hammer. <laughs> it's my, it sounds like a, a, a fun afternoon. Just home sweet home on the boat all over again. <laughs> uh, 
Ooh, 28 plus 28, I wish. Oh. Um, is, uh, uh, am, I, I'm, am I in flank with him? You're not in flank, but he is flat-footed. Man, wait, even I think he flank? might. Um, oh wait, no! If he was already flat-footed, no, never mind. It has, he has to be something else as well. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay, you can right, move can to flank with him. Yeah, it with with just the one move action. Yeah. Okay. As you do so, he looks at you and like the thought, like you see him kind of like twitch as if to bring his sword around at you, but he seems like it just kind of like throws him for a second. And he's still just intently eyeing Zandu. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Uh, no. That does miss. Oh, well, hold on. There's a lot of numbers there. The only one that connects is the 38. All right. Nothing that's, fumbles that's, because he's flat footed. That's with the flank, also? Mm. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, Tommy, I forgot about certain strike. 20 points of damage. Got it. What's a certain strike? Certain strike, even if I fail on an attack, as long as it's not a critical failure, I deal my minimum damn eight damage. Okay, gotcha. So is that what you did with your third? You wanted to use certain strike for your third action? Mm. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Right. And he takes twenty from Bradley punching him in the face and then missing a bunch. Zandu. Zandu, uh, whew, wild magic is fun, isn't it? It is. It's the um, most fun. Zandu, he has his uh, has his axe in two hands, and he is going to cast True Strike. Okay. Strike has a somatic. It is. Uh, true Strike is just verbal. Ah, oh, sweet. Never mind. Proceed to roll that D one hundred. Awaken yes. your your axe, sweet. That really, would be sweet. Now you really are a magus. You have become the black, the blade bound kid's eye. Seventy eight. Seventy eight. I think that awakens a. Stop. <laughs> Seventy what? Seventy eight. Now there are two dream trees. Okay, so uh, uh, the target is your your axe. Is that right? <laughs> Um, I don't think True Strike has a target. You gotta have some kind of. I think Self it's personal only. Uh, yeah. True Strike is personal, if I recall correctly. Okay, if True Strike is personal, now it's personal. It's personal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just gotta check. Yeah, that would be personal. Okay, so this is weird, but what happens is you, you go to cast True Strike, the spell resolves, but you feel... Well, you don't feel so much as, like, you happen to look up and a grand piano has materialized over your head to make a reflex save. An instrument, appears, an instrument appears adjacent to each target as some an instrument. I would like it to be a piano so it can fall on you. <laughs> because what else am I gonna do with that? <laughs> Be real good for cashew. Here's a hurdy gurdy. Oh, right? now it's a party. <laughs> yeah. with, with everything going on, I'm That's funny. What the fuck? Dream. We are in a Disney, uh, Disney uh, music world scene. Yeah, considering everyone's going to die. Um, roll the reflex save against your own spell, DC. I feel like. Right? See, gotcha. Mm -hmm. oh, True Strike is a fortune effect now. Sweet. Uh, it just, give, just gives you advantage on the attack. It's oh, good. I am one point below being able to make that. All right, fair enough. Um, I think I'm going to spend two of those hero points to re-roll that. Sure. That was a bad roll. You may do so. And, yeah, I rolled better, so I, I make it. Do you critically pass your own save? Do I critically pass it? Yeah. Um, that would be... A no, I don't think. Take half of this. Take 21 points of damage as the piano falls. You, like, you nimbly dodge <laughs> roll out of the way. And as the piano collides with you and then the 
the dream stuff below you. It shatters into nothingness. The keys go rolling. The string goes everywhere. You could probably garrot somebody if you really. Also, the piano is gone. And that's a sure. good idea. <laughs> Get some piano strings. Strangle a motherfucker. You're the monk. Uh, pia pianos don't even really exist in this, so. They do now. It's, you're probably just like, what the hell is that? No! What even is a piano? I feel like there's a piano yeah. in somewhere in, like, Second Darkness or, like, Strange Eons or something. Maybe. A favorite probably ode. Maybe really know the closest thing to a piano would be a pipe organ. It's a gigantic organ. Yeah, but a favorite ode is very definitely not Galarian. The pipe organ is not a piano. Close enough, whatever. Uh, Zandu, what are you doing? You got two actions. I swear yeah. to God, I'm going to start attacking pipe on Taurus. He's going to swing with the Mind Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just moaning out bit. one long chorus of notes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I take it that... Um, so, it's like a bagpipe when you throw it on the ground. Uh, 28 wouldn't hit, I'm assuming. 28 does not hit now. Okay, then roll again, because true strike. Not false strike. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, Do we have that? Did Bungle 30 come back? Hit. 30 does not. 30 does not. Drain. 30 does not. It's close. And you see Bungle. Bungle. Do we have Bungle? This Bungle is spelled... Damn it! Give me back my Bungle! That spell was great! <laughs> Give me back my bungle. Especially uh, when you thought it could target things of higher hit dice and you played with magical lineage and that was what your dragon disciple did. Just bungle. Attack. Hold my bungle for when so, the swashbuck was cheating immediate actions. Just nope. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. I suppose Zandu will be playing one last time, bungle. Adam. Bungle right here. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is... Better. Uh, but probably not enough with the. Uh, it's a 30 again. 30 does miss. All right. I think it's my turn. I take one point of intelligence, but it sucks. I don't really have anything to deal with it. <laughs> I'm the wrong kind of caster. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to start beating up Xandu. That's the goal here. I'm. I've got a condition. <laughs> <laughs> and the only description <laughs> is the bald dude kills Zandu. Let me make sure Frighten doesn't hit my attack rolls. It might. Everything works different than here. Conditional penalty right. with value on checks and save. Okay, got it. So I can still swing normally. First attack, two-handing my bastard sword. Thirty-six to hit. Did he have to move? He did not have to move. Okay. 36 to hit. Uh, shield is a reaction, which is a spell, so if you want to wild magic that. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. It's not that I want to. It's a trait of the Dimension of Dreams. The, the Dimension <laughs> of Dreams wants to. I'm just the arbitrator. Ooh, a two. Oh, That's no. interesting. What's the, what, what's the level That's of the spell? Uh, it's a level... It's, it's a cantrip. cantrip. So you can't take 1d6 points of damage per spell level. Reroll. Ineffective. It's like awakening the trees. I am, 92. The, I am the dream tree. <laughs> oh, now you explode. Oh, it's going to be extended. A random creature from the summon monster 1 list is summoned in a square adjacent to the caster. It is under the caster's control. What's on that list, guys? Sweet. You get a frog. <laughs> <laughs> If it's a frog, that's what, like, if that's on the list. I don't know. I have no idea. Summon monster. We're just going to pick a random you thing. You have to roll randomly for it. Oh, we do. Level yeah. one. Okay, so Xandu, give me a... Uh, roll me a D5. D13. Put a, put a D5 in. D5. Actually, actually, that's no fun. <laughs> you summon <laughs> you Roll it. Roll a D thirteen. We're gonna put Summon Nature's Ally in with this too, because I really want you oh to summon God, like an electric eel, and it's just ah. Oh, yeah. ah! Five. <laughs> Five. Oh, I was voting for the animated broom. What does he get? Dire rat. He he gets a constrictor snake. 
It's a snake. The snake enters <laughs> the dimension. The snake enters the dimension of dreams. I have the bestiary open. So I'll tell you what it adds, but it does need to make a charisma check. Enter like hands <laughs> with the like the slinky inside or the like spring inside. Just <laughs> <laughs> it shoots out of the a loaded can of peanuts. Yeah. Constrictor yep. snake. Where even is Constrictor snake? I have a viper. Well, it rolled a three on the dice. Okay, so it's baleful polymorphed into. Um, what is mm. what is worse than a snake? A sheep. A sheep. <laughs> baleful polymorphed into a rabbit. <laughs> no, no, sheep. no. no. What, what is what a is mongoose? It? That would be hilarious. Fish. Oh, that would be weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> I feel like it's a ball python. Yeah. That's what a Constrictor snake is, right? Mm. Yeah, it has to be. So. But either way, that does hit, Bolt? but not uh, not enough. Got it. The snake appears. The snake instantly baleful polymorphs into a, sure, a mongoose. But a mong- actually, what it, it just kind of like its fangs fall out. Well, it's a constrictor. It, it atrophies hard. <laughs> it just pff, no more muscle. I'm attacking you again. 24 to hit you. It becomes a leathery does noodle. not hit. The first one <laughs> did hit, but it's not a crit. A skin stock. 27 to hit. 27 does not. Right, like I said, enough. the first one hits, but it's not a critical. Okay, fair It'll enough. It'll pay good money for a skin sock. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that literally like oh. the plot of like the second book of Rise of the Rune Lords, the skin sock murders? Uh, s- I s- thought I'm s- funny. Ha s- ha. <laughs> I kind of miss Rune Lords. I'll tell you what. I'm real sad we didn't finish it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you oh. what. We got to go back there. We got to go and... And rouse some rune lords. I, I gotta be siege mage and siege mage accessories. Forty two points of damage at Xandu helmet hat. Ouch. Hat. <laughs> Mr. Hat. Well? No, no, it's your turn. I oh, used three actions to blindly just one, two, three, violent rage in Xandu's direction. Do either of you speak Chelish? Mm-hmm. No. No. Okay. I speak. Um, uh, and Scaldic Sign Language. Gotcha. Which I called Student's Book. Or back. In that case, this old man just keeps screaming at the top of his voice in Chelish as he seems to just want to do everything in his power to kill well, Xander Dead. Yeah, just shut him the hell up. And Cast first thing spells. I'm going to do. <laughs> Wild Magic is fun. Hit him. I'm going to hit him again. Right, fair enough. Let me make sure I'm not rolling a d12. I'm not. What actions are you using, Joe, for you hitting? I before I attack, I am using um, intimidating strike. Okay. And a power attack, so that do. So actions. so hang on, intimidating, intimidating strike just applied. Is it? Is it not an action? Intimidating strike is it's two actions. Action. It it takes two actions. I'm looking at it. That's what the two like diamondy things are. Is it? Yeah, so you cannot both Intimidating Strike and um, Power Attack. Then I'm just going to Power Attack him. Okay. And... Well, that's a pretty decent roll. Um, that's 29 just from the weapon. Well, what's the to hit? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the two hit is... Is he still flat-footed? Yeah. No, no, it's come back around. It's, he's not flat-footed anymore. Okay. Um, the actual two hit is 24 plus 18. Okay, that is. So, yeah. And, like I said, 29 from the weapon and six electric damage. Okay. Um, the result... That'd be a 42... If that means anything over his armor class, it does not. Already, is this for and the... then I'm just going to do a glancing blow, or not a glancing blow, a certain strike. Okay. One higher. One higher. That's just what I'll say. Nineteen. And so I hit him. Well, no, one higher and then actually, so it'd actually just be four lower. Right. Um, so, eight. So it'd be... Uh, 17 damage. What's the, what's there, the no, total? No, 16 damage. 19 plus what? Hmm? 19 plus what? 19 plus 24. Plus 20. 
minus okay. five. Um, okay, yeah, that still hits. So that's 16 damage. Understood. Oh, Bradley. This old man continues. Oh, Bradley! Just, as, as Helmet just kind of like one, two punches him with his big old hammer. He, he, he hits, Probably he bleeds, a, a it hurts. downward strike. And then a jab. So, like, just slam down on him and then jab him in the side of the head. Well, fair enough. And he takes it. And he's like I'm hoeing a field. Bloody and bruised and, like, his eyes hanging out kind of funny. But he's just... Oh. All of his effort is focused on killing Xandu dead. This guy's real messed up! Yeah, he's not doing well. <laughs> I don't like it! <laughs> Freaking me out! I'm gonna spend a free action to cast key strike, and then I'm gonna flow your blows. Alrighty, so you cast the thing. I yeah, I don't know, but is is it really a spell? Is it a power? Yes. I'm pretty sure those are spells. I'm hoping they're spells because my Gestalt Druid Sorcerer that I'm gonna play for too long is tending to abuse dangerous sorcery with uh whatever the thing is. That's a one. A one. Okay. You rolled a one. What happens? Oh, shit. Okay. This is heightened to your maximum level because it's a power? Uh, what? No, uh, key strike can't heighten. Oh, now I'm confused. It. Only certain things can heighten. What? If they can heighten, they heighten to your maximum level. Uh, I see. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so my key blast can heighten, but key strike cannot. So in that case, you just you simply take... Five points of damage as you you cast key strike you focus your power and you feel your like your nose start to bleed a little too hard Ugh. pushing too hard on your concentrations <laughs> accurate now proceed with your attacks if you'd like all right sorry just one sec i want to make sure that key strike is not is actually a power and not a feat it's a power, I'm looking at it. Oh, it's a power again from a feat. Hawk a doggy. Like all a lot of feats in this game. Oh. Some extra pluses in there. A plus one conditional bonus Up. to the triggering attack roll. Yep. Alright, 33 and a 38. Uh 33 does not hit a 38 does. And that's with the flank? Mm-hmm. Ah. Well, with the flank, never mind, it would hit. I lied. Both attacks connect. Woohoo! Woohoo! Uh, and what I have been forgetting about is, um, I think it's called Savage Flurry or Brutal Flurry. If both the flurry attacks hit, the damage dice upgrades. Nice. Cool. Brutal nice. Flurry! Well, there's definitely no Brutal Flurry, and I did spell it with a U, not a double O. <laughs> brutal find it brutal fury i don't brutal see a fury. i don't see a savage flurry either does this exist it's in here i definitely read it <laughs> you sure it's not like the wolf stance thing i didn't just make some shit up dragon roar ghost strike key blast tiger slash wind step wolf drag wild wind stance wild wind stance you pull out two revolvers Here's flurry. <laughs> high noon Fierce Flurry, ninth level. If you hit with both strikes in a flurry of blows, increase the weapon damage dice of each attack by one step. Ninth level? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a, a thing, not a class feat. It's a, it's a class feature, not a feat. Gotcha. Okay, fair enough. Seems good. 51 points of damage. I'm good. You guys hit pretty hard. I was a little worried he's, about this encounter. He's got real big hands. <laughs> you know what they say about dwarves with big hands. They yeah, should roll got, monks. Ha! They got big gloves. <laughs> I, am, I, am I, am I think it's Xandu's my... turn. Yes, it should be. Oh, I, I, do, I do have one more action. Okay, please do. Well, technically, I have two, but I just I want to try the shoving attack. All right. Knockback strike. Knockback strike. Dude, monks look so uh, fun. I've been using yes. the digital dice up until now. I should just keep using them, I guess. You should. They've been doing great for you so far. Yep. 33. Just like that hits. Yep. 
I just tap him. Um, so that's not... Oh, you have two more actions. Yeah, because the one was a free action, sure. Make an athletics check to yeah, shove the target. Strike is... Yes, that is... Thank you. You have that up before I did. This attack uses the same multiple attack penalty as your strike and doesn't count towards your multiple attack penalty. That's real so good if you use it the first time and flurry him after. Or flurry him after. Thank you. That's good. I like that. Oh, pff, I rolled a four. Uh, that's... 17. That would fumble. Good luck. <laughs> You fall into the atrophied snake. It is upset. Is there a fumble thing for knockback strike? I imagine. Ah, do 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 to shove. I said that way more excited than I am about shoving. (laughs) I'm with to (laughs) shove. Why isn't it called bull rush? Or like back again, the the critical failure. You lose your balance, fall and land prone. So you try to shove. (laughs) Instead, you just kind of. You literally do fall on the. Yeah, bear. you push yourself off. The very atrophied viper, it's upset. It Ooh. tries to constrict around your forearm, but it just can't. So it just kind of loosely wraps itself. Oh, it's trying Aww. to give me. It's trying to give me a snake bite. That's that's funny. Oh, it is. All right, Sandy, what you got? Um, I'm thinking for the first thing Sandy's going to do, he is going to attempt an athletics check to trip McCaleb. Right, sure. And whoever's chair that was definitely sounded like a squealy little baby. That's weird. <laughs> squealy little baby. Squealy baby. So that would be a uh, 21. That does fumble. Yeah. Because I add my proficiency to my. You're targeting my fort save? Is that right? That's not a fumble. You just got a crit success. I'm what? targeting your reflex save. Oh, you're targeting my reflex save. Okay. Yeah, so. you're making a save. He's not I'm not attacking you. Oh, okay, cool. No, it's just your reflex DC, whatever okay. it is. So my reflex as if I'd rolled a ten. So then that's can't math. What is happening? Thirty can't math. I have, uh, I have a thirty-six is my reflex DC. So yeah, that's a critical failure. Um I lose my balance and fall prone instead. Everyone's falling. You also Great. fall on the snake and Bradley. Whoop! Um, I'm goof! <laughs> <laughs> Next action, uh, Zandu will uh, stand stand up. All right. That will provoke. It's surprisingly heavy. It provokes a reaction from Caleb. I figured. I imagine, yeah, you know, Zandu is probably a little heavier than we imagined him before because he's all buff and axy. Whereas before he was and, uh, less buff and That rigid. will also trigger, the attack will trigger uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti boy. as well. Right, sure. Wild magic. This is fun. I like wild magic. Yep. I don't like it here. 73. What happens? What happened? not too hot about punching, and I got One a random tree or animal targeted by the spell or in the spell's area is affected by awaken. It's me. We could awaken the very <laughs> atrophied viper. Well, it's a just re-roll. There are no trees Kill in the me. dimension of dreams. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-two. I wish for death. Take me to my the... life is pain. Take me to the dream tree. Come and skin suck. The caster is affected as if targeted by the spell. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> you are affected as if you cast shield. Roll again. None of these are good. None of these are applicable. <laughs> I like the awaken. <laughs> awaken the stake. <laughs> didn't see it. it was pretty. Yeah, you know what? There's you no- would be very sad. There's nothing to shatter. That is what happens. The snake awakens. <laughs> <laughs> My bones. My brittle snake muscles. He has to hold out his asses. He's a snake. There's a 37 hit you. <laughs> um, a 37 with the shield uh, would hit, but it would not be a crit. All right, cool. Here comes 5d12 plus 10. Hop-ra! 39 damage. Hop-ra! Hop-ra! Success! 
Atakapa. <laughs> Atakapa. Uh, Wild magic summons hey. the dog of wisdom. Atakata patakata. Atakata. Skin stocks. Skin sock. Zandu's uh, a skin stock. The sizzneck. Zandu is going to use the shield to soak that damage okay, this time sure. around. I'm sure I shatter it. Helmut I am skin. sure you do. All right, so you got one, uh, one more action. It's your back at the back. I'm about to back to Zandu. <laughs> I'm about to got to. The dog of wisdom flies through the encounter. Bah. 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 Back with his axe. No, oh, my axe. Believe in you. Um, that is a. That's not gonna hit because I'm rolling worse than I've ever. Ugh. Well, what is it though? Uh, then some of the other stuff. Uh, that would be. Well, I was just gonna re-roll. Use this in some hero points. Okay, sure. You don't have that many hero points. I haven't given you rerolled one thing, and then you went to zero. Uh, how many hero points? Have and you I used failed so with far? it, right? Oh yes, I that's failed correct. with that reroll. That's, that's correct. Yeah. So yeah. I get one back. That's true. Okay, make a reroll. I'm really crossing my fingers Fuck for you to fumble and, and kill this snake dead. I want to die. That is a nat twenty I this time. I yeah, and the snake will live forever now. It has become immortal by the power of your natural 20. Who, who doesn't have the yeah. familiar yet? We have Ar Arendelle's come back for Xandu. Francis is, Oleg Francis has come back for Bradley. But Someone, Oleg isn't here. I guess we're going to give it to, to Grey Mantle. He can have a, the atrophied snake thing, I guess. What? I don't know. Roll <laughs> your damage. Helmut doesn't have one. Would you like an atrophied snake thing? It needs well, a horn. Oh, that it is... will become the strongest snake. <laughs> I double the damage. Dice, belly right? crawler on this planet. Double the damage, double the mod. This flesh noodle has become mine. Okay. <laughs> Training montage. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da I shall make you mighty oh, flesh sock. <laughs> mighty flesh sock. Mighty flesh sock. Six. Um, What's flesh sock in Swedish? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Top of my head. Plus 12. Alex! 67 damage. Ooh, I, I think... want to say, I, I don't want to make a guess to what it is. I don't know my clothing that well in Swedish. That actually, that strikes him pretty well. Pretty pretty good. That, Yeah, that's the thing. That happens. Is that all for Xandu? <laughs> yep, that's right. it. Need to get over a 15. Yeah, I could have magical it's... striker that, I guess, with the shield, but you oh well. Have... More of the 15th? More oh, the 15th. no, because the shield is a cantrip. That is true. As someone who's going to make a video about Gishin real soon. So, McCaleb gets a hit in the face with a dwarven orax from the not dwarf, and it kind of shakes him out of his stupor as the, like, the blood clot that's formed in the front of his head that's bleeding everywhere continues to intensify. He realizes <laughs> he's not doing well, and he manipulates the dimension of dreams in such a way that he disappears, leaving his... It must be more than a dream of his, because it still exists while he's there, open for you guys to explore, but I did need to knock off a little bit early tonight. There's some things I need to do, so this is where we're going to call it tonight before you guys get to explore it thank you guys so much on twitch for watching thank you guys again on youtube for watching and if you're on twitch remember black dragon gaming is your number one source for pathfinder first and second and if you watch my serpent folk video because my editor didn't catch it neither did i pathfinder fourth edition content because <laughs> i'm great i am the all seeing also Make sure to check out the inn of planar crossroads on youtube they are at i'm actually i gotta i gotta do a check I gotta do a quick spot check. 373 was they're the last check I did. They're so close to 400 subs. Make Emmy run the breakfast and it'll be great. And like I said at the beginning of the session, it'll be a one shot that they run that Joe and Donald and I don't have to show up for to fill the ranks because they're starting to get popular <laughs> and we're so proud. Anywho, we're out of here. Say bye, guys. 
Jeff, check out the latest guys. episode of Broken Universe for a terrific intermission. Was it really good? I haven't watched it. Fine. Watch it. Just watch like the last minute of the video. Yeah, fair enough. Is it is it when Cashew talks to to the friend? No, well, I mean that does happen, but it's after that. It's like literally the last minute of the video. Is it bad? No, no. Is it's it ins- very good. Does it insult Salty Tommy? What? It does, doesn't no. it? Okay, good. Fair enough, because I was afraid of that. Anyway, now we'll stop streaming. Bye. Bye. And I almost dropped a quarter inside my computer with all of the things off it, because I'm trying to get more cold air and I need to stop playing this shit. <laughs> now-